Alright guys, I'm Dominic with KitGuru and today we are looking at the new Cryorig H7 Quad Lumi. If you've been reading our cooler reviews over on KitGuru.net, you'll know I'm a big fan of this cooler here. This is the original H7, which is a 3 heat pipe cooler, no RGB LEDs or anything like that. So Cryorig has come along and they've decided to improve on perfection as it were, and they've gone for this Quad Lumi effect. So they've added, essentially they've added RGB LEDs on the top and the bottom, they've added an LED fan, plus there's also an extra heat pipe now for increased cooling capacity. There is a bit of a price hike, so the Quad Lumi will cost you £55.99 I believe here in the UK, whereas the original 87, which is a very good bang for buck option, without any LEDs, that will cost you about £35. So we're not going to focus too much just looking at the coolers, because the purpose of this video is more to give you an in-depth look at the actual RGB lighting effects. So why don't we go ahead, install our cooler, and we'll see what you can do with the RGB lighting with the H7 Quad Lumi. Okay, so now we've got the Quad Lumi installed, you can see it there, and we're going to want to open NZXT CAM software. So I've already got that open, and you're going to want to head over to the tuning page. Now, the Quad Lumi pops up because we've already connected it via the USB 2 header. You can see I've got Hue Plus at the bottom. That's just my own personal Hue Plus, and we won't be looking at it today. But at the top here, it's worth just quickly pointing out there is a sync mode. So if you wanted to, you could sync your Quad Lumi and your Hue Plus, their lighting effects together. But we're just focusing on the Quad Lumi, so maybe that can be for another day. So to get into your Quad Lumi settings, there's a little Edit Settings tab here and then you're presented with a bit more in-depth information. The first choice is, do you want to sync the logo LED, the logo LED sorry, and the underglow LED? You don't have to, but the option's there, and for the purpose of this video, just because we're showing you the different effects, we are going to be having those sync together. So, first we're going to look at the different lighting presets that we've got. As you can see here, it's, it defaults to a fixed profile, and you can change the color using the different color options or there's this big color gradient section here. The only thing I would say, and it's slightly annoying, is you have to change the color then save changes before you can actually see what it looks like. There's no live preview and personally I would prefer it if there was a live preview but hey ho. So that's just the fix mode, pick your color, save changes. Breathing gets slightly more interesting, but obviously we all know what breathing effect looks like. There's speed settings down the side, so we're already on the fastest. Let's bring it way down to the slowest if you want a nice and gradual breathing effect. Very nice. Then fading, you can choose three different colors down the side. We'll go from red to yellow to leave that at blue save changes and you'll see it will slightly it'll transition between those different colors a nice gradual fading effect there is another si uh, speed setting sorry down the side and then you can have it fading a bit faster and I think we're starting to get into the slightly cooler effects now next up is the marquee setting I'll just change the color to red we'll show you what this does essentially it's a very fast well, I say very fast because it's on the fastest setting. Let's slow it down and we can get a really good look at what it does. So essentially, it's actually the LEDs are off for most of the time, but when they come through, they turn on gradually, the brightness increases and they fade out again. You can change the LED group size, and this is how this changes how many LEDs actually come on and increase together. So you can see once we've changed the LED group size down to three, the brightness of the different LEDs is a lot, it's reduced. Change it back up to six and more LEDs will brighten up together. Next we've got covering marquee which is similar, I'll just put that on straight away, but it uses two different colors. So instead of just having one that kind of fades in and fades back out, it now changes between the two different colors. And you can see as well on the underglow how it it kind of, it's like almost as if it's a circle, the LEDs are going round in a circle using the underglow there. Now we move on to pulse, let's just pick a different colour we haven't seen yet, we'll go for a nice green. Yep, this does have speed settings as well, so we'll pull it down to the slowest setting first. So 
not quite similar to breathing, but it will flash at the top and then flash for the underglow as well, which is probably is one of the best things about the Quadalumi is you've got the, the top LED and the underglow. So this is a good way to utilize that. Next up, my personal favorite, Spectrum Wave. There's less control over this, there's only speed, because obviously it's just the LEDs that cycle through the RGB spectrum, and that's actually the slowest. Honestly, I think that's still quite fast, but if we whip it up to the fastest, let's see what that looks like. It's a bit crazy. So it's almost like a disco, my eyes slightly hurt watching that, so I'll pull that back down. There we go. Now, the last of the presets is alternating, pretty straightforward. Let's just go for red and orange as it was. The LEDs just alternate between the two colors as selected. If you press moving, enable moving, what difference has that made? I can't quite tell. I don't know, maybe you can spot what the difference is. I, I'm just looking at that and Oh, is it the the different the the letters in the logo? They're alternating. Oh, isn't that what they're meant to do? Hey, I don't know. So that's all the different presets. Now, moving over to the Smart tab, you, this is where things get interesting because you can actually set the LED colors uh, using either your GPU temperature, your CPU temperature, or your frames per second. We'll start with GPU temperature. If I just hit save. You can see it's gone straight away to a kind of mid middling purpley lilac kind of color. That's because different colors um, will directly correlate with the temperature of your card. So if we check back to my dashboard, my gra my graphics card is actually idling idling at 53. That's just because I've actually taken out all my front fans because they're LED fans. So it was actually affecting the video. So that's probably why my graphics card is a bit warmer than it would otherwise be. But we head back so we can see it's 53 degrees which explains why it's this purpley colour. Now CPU temperature, hit save changes and it's gone down to a darker blue because my CPU is idling at 38 degrees. So pretty pretty standard, makes sense, straightforward. You can just select different colours and as your CPU or GPU gets hotter the the color of the LEDs will change. There is also a frames per second um, little preset here. I won't be able to demonstrate this to you because I don't really have the time to pull up a game and start playing and watch as the FPS changes. It is interesting though, it only goes up to 100. So if you're playing high refresh rate, maybe you just bought one of those new 240 hertz monitors, you're not gonna get a difference between 100 and any higher than that. It's not really a complaint, but it's worth talking about. So that about wraps up for our coverage of the Cryorig H7 Quad Lumi. I really think the RGB lighting is fantastic. I like those LEDs on the top and LEDs on the underside, which creates that lovely underglow. Compared to the original H7 as well, there's an extra heat pipe, which gives better cooling performance, as you can see from our full in-depth article over at kitguru.net. But in short, RGB lighting is fantastic. If you're into that sort of thing, the extra £20 is, will be nothing to you because it's a brilliant performing cooler. It's still nice and compact, yet the RGB lighting is excellent. If you're not keen on RGB, you'll probably want to stick with the original 87, which is still phenomenal priced performance. But overall, I'm really impressed with the Quad Lumi. What can I say? The RGB lighting is brilliant, and as you can see at kitguru.net, performance is stellar, acoustics also brilliant. So I'm Dominic with KitGuru. This is the Cryorig H7 Quad Looming Air Cooler.